it is our heart open practice today. So you're gonna need some supports. As you can see, I have a blanket here. I'm just using it underneath my knees. You don't have to, but you will need a block or two and a couple of blankets or a couple of blankets if you're gonna have a block and a strap. And if you have a strap with a way of looping it, then do that now, just so you don't have to do it during the practice. So just make a little loop. Um, or if you don't have one of those with the buckles, just tie a little loop on the end of it. So we will get started today. In Virasana, come to your knees. You can split your calf muscle here and just kind of sink back onto your heels. If you don't have access to this, you put a bunch of blankets on top of your calf muscles and you sit down on a little seat that you make for yourself. And of course, if you can't access that, then you sit crisscross. Crisscross applesauce, as they say. So find your posture. Rest your palms facing downwards on your thighs. Let's take a shoulder roll. Up and back, shoulder blades down the back. Let's draw the chin in. Soften those shoulder blades down the back, close the eyes. Make sure you're tall here and that you're not leaning forward. Keep opening up the heart. So feeling that drawing of the shoulders back subtly to soften your heart center. Soften your facial muscles. Feel your breath flowing in and out through your nostrils. Be aware of your brow, your forehead, a space right between the eyes. Be aware of the temples and the eyes and the eyelids. Move your focus, be present with that space until you're guided to the next place. Be aware of your breath flowing in and out through your nostrils. And the bridge of the nose. Be aware of your cheeks, the jaws, the mouth. Be aware of the throat, the neck and the throat. The collarbones, the shoulders, the upper back. Be aware of the upper arms and the elbows, the lower arms and the wrists, the hands, the fingers, the tips of the fingers. Be aware of the abdomen. Just feel how the belly rises and falls as you breathe. The mid and lower back. The pelvis. The hips. The upper legs. The knees. The lower legs. The ankles. The feet. The toes, the tips of the toes. Be aware of your entire body, from the soles of the feet to the crown of the head. Bring your awareness back to the breath flying in and out through the nostrils. Back to the space between the eyes. Make sure the brow is soft. 
look into that space. Drop down into your heart center and open yourself to an intention for your practice today. Gently blink the eyes open once you've found your intention. Come on to the hands and knees. And we're gonna press ourselves right back into downward facing dog. So just take a moment here in your down dog. You can pedal your dog out if you need to. If that feels good for you, go for it. Spread the toes, spread the palms, hands, fingers. And hold your dog for a moment. Press the heels down if you have the space for that. Always, if you're rounded in the back, upper back and lower back, bend your knees and your down dog. One more breath here. Push your hips to the back of the mat. Nice long spines. Draw those front ribs in. And let's take our daily plank pose. Come forward into plank. We hold this for two minutes. So if you're new here, you start on your knees unless you have the strength to do that. Unless you are fully aware that you have the strength to do that. Otherwise, we start on the knees and we just lift the knees up as you find strength and then put them back down. So shoulders are here right over the wrist palms are spread wide make sure that the wrist the palms are not turning in so the wrist crease is somewhat parallel to the top of the mat make sure the shoulders are rolling back and not drawing in towards each other have that lift in your center so you're not collapsed here pull the belly up navel up to the sky gaze is just straight ahead of you so push down into the mat really push and then Open up your collarbones just a little bit. It's a little smile with the collarbones. Hug the elbows back. Feel like your palms are gonna pull back towards your feet, but they really don't go anywhere, right? So just get that activation. And then once again, let's check our navel, check our bellies, check that lift in your center. Get into your legs. So have the thighs super active here, pressing up to the sky, but not all the way up into down dog pressing up and then heels back without the shoulders moving. Hug the inner thighs in a little bit. So squeeze into the center with your legs. Can you feel the pinky toe mound of your foot? Can you get it under you just a little bit more? Are you breathing? <laughs> Probably the most important part. So keep the breath flowing, even though we're holding this intense pose. And as always, you take breaks as you need them. Come into child's pose if you need to, come into down dog, take a break, come back in, do what your body needs. And you made it once again. Let's press back into downward facing. Up and back. Nice stretch here. Push the hips back, get nice and long. Straighten those legs if you have the space. And we come to the knees. So swing yourself around. We're going to use our props in the middle of our practice today. Grab your blocks or your two towels or blankets or whatever you have. And we're gonna make that little T for our upper back. So you fold up a blanket to fit underneath your back like this, if you don't have the box. And we're just gonna fold over them. So whatever support you have, find your shoulder blades. It's at the bottom of your shoulder blades. It starts between your shoulder blades and then the head drops back. So. Just make sure you have support there. Take a Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees out to the side. If you need to, you place blankets outside of those hips as well. Rock your back evenly. And you wanna feel an opening across the chest here. So the lift has to be high enough under the back there. And then as far as the head is concerned, if the head drops back, it's fine. Just make sure you're not squishing up the neck so much. Right, you can get a little bit more of an opening if you let the head drop back a little bit more. So let's just hang out here. Let your body just kind of melt over that support. Keep a connection to your core. So whenever we do back bends, we want to make sure 
that we have that stabilizer, right? That deep abdominal lock. So find that, connect to that information. And breathe. Feel a softening over your support. So the chest opens maybe a little bit more. Keep hugging those front ribs in. We're in a back bend here. So find some support there. Soften the groins. Soften the hips. Take one more deep breath. And then let's draw the legs together and make your way up off of the support. So chin in, strong core, roll yourself up, move your supports out of the way and make your way to standing. Top of the mat to Dasana. Let's come into our mountain pose. Samasthiti, he, inhale, rise. And exhale, fold all the way over. Inhale, half fold, so we lift ourselves up as high as we need to to get that chest open. Exhale, we take a close step back into plank pose. Take your push up, chaturanga. Inhale, find your back bend. Open that heart. Downward facing dog. Right foot floats to the top of the mat. Left knee drops. Find space between your legs here. We're gonna stay in the lunge with our hands on the mat and the left palm is gonna come down. So you're gonna bend your left knee and spin around. So this is where the strap comes in handy for some of you. If you can't reach your foot, strap around the foot, grab the strap. Otherwise, right hand to the left foot. We're twisting here. So lift, push into the mat, spin the right ribs back, draw the heel down. That back knee is pushing away from you. If you need to, you can put a blanket under your knee. Make sure you're rolled on top of that kneecap so you're just pressing the knee away from you. Right ribs back, breathe. And release that foot down. We're gonna rise up into a low lunge. So reach all the way up here. And then we're gonna rest on the thigh with the right forearm. Bend the left knee again and reach back this time. Same hand, same foot. So. Draw the heel in. Again, use your strap if you need to. Drop into the lunge, pull that heel towards your buttock and push that back knee away from you. Once you have that, you can start to turn your torso forward if you have the space. So these ribs are gonna start to turn towards the front of the mat. Breathe, check your core support. And let's gently release that foot down. Palms back down to the mat. Take a flow, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open up your heart in your back bend. Downward facing dog. Left foot floats to the top of the mat, right knee drops. Take the space that you need here. Rock on top of that kneecap, right palm down. We twist, turn and reach for that foot or use your strap. Heel towards the buttock. Make sure this knee, this thigh is hugging in. So lift. Spin, push into that right palm, roll the shoulder back. Back knee pushes away from you. Really feel the quads, the top of that thigh, kind of drawing forward a little bit. Pelvis drawing forward, open the heart. Breathe into the twist, roll the shoulder back. Spin those left ribs around if you have the space. Gently release your foot down. Let's come into our little lunge, rise up. And rest left forearm on the thigh, right knee bends again. Same hand, same foot, reach back, heel towards the hip and spin yourself forward. So those right ribs start to turn forward if you have the space. Back knee pushes away from you a little bit. Breath is steady here. And we gently release that foot. Step back, take a flow, exhale. Chaturanga. 
Inhale, either your cobra or upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Split the right foot to the top of the mat. Stay high on the ball mounds of your back foot. Inhale, crescent pose, rise up, palms together overhead. And we're gonna take the thumbs to the back of the neck here. So elbows up and back. Go deep into the lunge if you have the space. Try to squeeze that thigh straight if you have the space. Elbows up and back, heart is open here. So as you drop back, stitch those front ribs in. Make sure they're not splaying out to the side. And breathe. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, we take our flow. Step back into plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana, heart opens as you come forward. Inhale, find your back bend. Breathe. Downward facing. Left foot steps to the top of the mat. Stay high on the ball mounds of that right foot. Inhale, crescent pose, rise up. Palms overhead, thumbs to the back of the neck, elbows back. Take your time finding your pose. So you may be starting with a bent knee. You might slowly start to straighten that leg. You might go deeper in the lunge. Try to draw the right hip forward, that back leg hip forward, left hip back. Breathe. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, hands down to the mat. And we flow. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Downward facing dog. Inhale, forward. Let's bring ourselves down to our bellies. Walk your hands back a little bit so they're kind of towards... The lower ribs, maybe even the waist, rock the thighs underneath you. Reach through your toes. Inhale, Shalabhasana with the hands on the mat. So palms pull back, chest lifts, legs lift. Reach through those toes and make sure your heels don't do that. So they don't spin up to the sky. The eyes are under you. Feel like someone's drawing the feet back. Lift the chest up. Exhale back down. Get into the backs of those legs. Hug the thighs in. Inhale. Locust pose. So lift, find your back body. Shoulder blades together, down the back, heart lifts. Exhale back down. And last one. Rise up, reach through those legs. Exhale back down, push up, downward facing. Let's come to the knees. So this is where you're going to grab your strap. And let's see, let's start with right foot forward. So we'll put the strap around your left foot. Take the right foot to the top of the mat into your low lunge. Rock again on top of that kneecap. Take your strap and just throw it over your shoulder. Come onto the thigh. So this is where we start to find our space here. Start to walk it in if you can, take your strap, Take both hands to the strap behind you. So elbows up to the sky. We start to lift up. Get your torso tall here. Ground through that front foot. Push down into the mat. Lift. Find a steady gaze point. This definitely requires some balance. And then slowly start to walk your hands down the strap. Elbows back. Heart is lifting. Everything has to hug into the center here, right? So squeeze the inner thighs in. Draw those elbows back, push into that front foot, walk the hands back maybe a little further. One more breath and gently release. Come back onto hands and knees and switch. Strap on the right foot. Let's come into lunge in left leg for forward. Take the strap over the right shoulder. So find your little lunge. Give yourself space here. Rock on top of that kneecap. Pull it in. Lift yourself up. Arms up overhead. Take your time. Breathe. Walk the hands down the strap. 
draw the elbows back, right? So we're starting to go into the back bend, drop the head back. You may have the flexibility to take your foot and touch it to the back of your head. Breathe. Keep hugging into the center with those ribs. Belly is strong, lift up, drop back, and then gently release. Release your strap out of the way, move it out of the way. Grab your blankets if you're tight in your hips, you're gonna sit up on the blankets. We're gonna release those legs out in front. Shake it out. A lot of bursting heart energy here. So just think about drawing that energy in. We're gonna take the right ankle over the left knee. If you're tight here, that left leg stays straight. Otherwise, foot under the knee. So we stack, shin on top of shin, look down. Do you see any leg in that little window, right? Do you see your calf muscle? Push it forward a little bit if you do. Even out your sitting bones. Use blankets in between the thighs if you need to. You've got support here, right? And start to fold forward. So you may just want to sit tall. If you're really tight here and this is enough of an opening, just hang out here. Breathe into that space. Soften your hips. And as you fold, if you're folding, in either case, just think about drawing all of that heart energy, open that open energy, draw it in. Refill, replenish, restore yourself with all of that love energy. Get the head, let the head get heavy for the if you're in the fold. Soften that right hip. Check in with your body. Where is it resisting this? Can you bring your attention there and just soften a little bit? Tell the body it's okay. Slowly start to make your way up. Stay in the pose. We're going to go into a twist from here. So shoulders up and back. We're going to turn to the right and spin to the right. Take that palm facing open. Push into your thigh. Right hand behind you, lifting yourself. Left hip grounds. Spin those right ribs back. Let's draw the chin in and turn your gaze to the left. So the right shoulder's drawing back, left shoulder's drawing back. Twisting in two different directions here. Maybe you can get those right ribs back just a little bit more. And come back to center. Or at least shake it up. Other side, left leg over. And either bottom leg is straight or shin on top of shin. Calf and shin on top of calf and shin. Even out your sitting bones. Prop yourself how you need to. Slowly make your way into the fold. Or just stay nice and tall. As you go deeper, just kind of feel, be present, experience your body. For the full folds, let the head get heavy. Try to keep your hips on the mat though. If your sitting bones are bumping up, just push it back a little bit. Soften that left hip.
slowly start to rise up out of the pose. Lift yourself tall before you twist. So rise up, ground this right hip, turn to the left, press into the thigh, rise, spin those left ribs back. Draw the chin in, gaze spins to the right. So left shoulder, left ribs draw back. Turn as far over to look over that right shoulder as you can. And spin yourself back to center. Really, make our way onto our backs. Lie down. Bring your knees into your chest. Let's take a final twist to the right. Drop that left hip down. Maybe get that right shoulder blade out from underneath you. Gaze to the left. Inhale back to center. Drop the legs to the left. Rock that left shoulder blade out. Gaze to the right, right hip down. Back to center. Make your way into Shavasana. And make sure you take your Shavasana. If you're someone who pops out of the pose, or pops out of class and just kind of walks away from Shavasana, this is really one of the most important parts of the practice. So use props underneath your knees, back of the head if you need to. And allow the body to completely release, allow the body to integrate the practice, all that work you just did. Close your eyes, feel the body getting heavy into the mat. If you're engaging a controlled breath, let that go. Soften your brow. Start to gaze into that third eye space. And look into your open heart center. Rest your attention at your heart space. And let yourself go. Bring your awareness back to your breathing. Back to your body. Slowly start to reawaken the body. Wiggle the fingers. Wiggle the toes. Take a deep stretch. Arms up over the head. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock back and forth here. And rest on your side in fetus position. Maybe the eyes can express yourself up to seated. Sit tall. Take your palms to prayer seal all of that work you just did in between your hands. Press your thumbs into your heart center. Connect at your heart. Feel your heart center. Draw your chin in. Bow your head forward. We just worked on that space, opened up that space. So bow down to that beautiful light within you to your compassion, bow down to your kindness, bow down to your ability to forgive and to be forgiven, to ask for forgiveness, your love. Honor that space within yourself and recognize and honor that space within all beings. especially when they make it difficult. So make an effort to see the love and light within everything around you. From your heart, let's 
Send a prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. And now take a moment of gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale to head back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. Let's see what the angels have to say today. Number one. Expectancy, number two, efficiency, and number three, acceptance. Go spread some love. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.